Hi everyone. On June 9th, the Holy Orthodox Church celebrates the memories of five consecrated virgin martyrs. Tekla, Mariamni, Martha, Mary, and Inatha. All five were Persians, and they lived around the year 330. Now, in their particular convent, there was a priest named Paul who would come and serve them uh, according to their needs, would perform the liturgy for them, and distribute to them the holy body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. Yet in that area also was a magistrate named Nearsi. Now Nearsi had heard that Father Paul, because he was basically in charge of this small monastery where these five resided, had a lot of money. Well, in fact, Paul was in charge of the purse for the monastery. He kept track of all of their money so that they could live accordingly to their needs. Well, Nursi wanted that money. And so he comes and commands Father Paul and the five virgins to appear before him and to bring their jewels as well. Now, this is unfortunately a story of abandonment by one's spiritual father. And it really doesn't have a happy ending for Father Paul, though it does certainly for these five virgin martyrs who would go to be with their Lord Jesus Christ. When Nearsi asked Paul about his money, Paul at first said, well, why, you know, why do you want it? We haven't bothered you or anything like this. But Nearsi said, well, as Christians, though, you're not keeping the royal decrees. And so Father Paul said, well, what is it you would have me do? And he said, well, you need to offer blood sacrifices and to worship the sun. Now, Paul, all of a sudden, looking down at all the valuables that they had brought with them because they were commanded to do so, had Satan enter into his heart. And so he decided then and there that, yes, I will do this. Now, of course, the five nuns were astonished. They could not believe what they were hearing and what they were seeing. And so they went to Father Paul and said, what are you doing? How can you possibly do this? How can you possibly betray Christ? You, whom we have received the body and blood of our Lord from, are now turning against him so easily? But yet, Father Paul would not listen. He said, well, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter at all. And in fact, you should do the same thing because if you do, he will allow you to keep your valuables and you can return today back to your convent. But the lady said no, that they would not do this. And so each of them were taken and beaten with rods 100 times each. It said that it took hours to accomplish all of this. And then they were finally brought back into the magistrate. And again, they confessed their Lord Jesus Christ and said, you know, nothing has changed as far as we are concerned. And so Nearsi told Father Paul that, well, they are not acting in accordance with the decrees of the law, and therefore they deserve death. And Nearsi, still wanting to get at Father Paul's money that he had been keeping for the monastery, said, and in fact, if you want to be released then you are going to have to take the sword and kill each one of these women. Well, of course, the women were horrified when they heard this. But Paul, still with so much avarice in his heart, took the sword and went to the women. And they said, how can you do this? You, who were our spiritual father, you're going to become the agent of our martyrdom? But yet Paul would still not listen. He was so entrenched in the devil's devices 
that he took the sword and one by one beheaded each one of the women so that they became martyrs and went straight to heaven and now abide with our Lord Jesus Christ. Paul, however, was not as lucky as he might have thought because Nerse, who was actually astounded that the priest had done this, a man who was not a trained executioner and yet willingly turned against those who used to be in his charge, Nerse completely lost respect for Paul and instead told him that, well, because of what you have done, the emperor wants to honor you. And so you will stay with us one more night and then he will come and bestow on you great riches. So Paul, going to sleep that night, unbeknownst to him, had several men come in, directed by Nerse, who took the rope and strangled him that night. For as we know, even Judas himself had regrets. This poor priest ended up having none and therefore met a terrible, terrible end while at the same time showing the virtues and the love for Jesus Christ among those whom were in his charge. These holy five women showed strength and courage that this poor miserable priest lacked. So I think it can be a lesson to all priests everywhere of the importance of being faithful and not letting the devil get even the smallest quarter in spiritual life, lest we too go down a road that leads to destruction. But perhaps by the prayers of these five women, even Paul might find some degree of relief in his what is sure to be miserable condition. Let us all follow our Lord without hesitation. Bye-bye.